My name is Ben Coleman. I'm one of your hosts here at the Florida Aviation Network, and we're coming to you live and in the clear here uh, from the beautiful Florida Air Museum at the Sunfun Complex in Lakeland Linda Regional Airport in County of Polk in the state of Florida in these United States of America. America, did I say that right? Okay. And uh, you know, every now and then we have some performers that get lost. They, they might be able to fly pretty good, but they get lost walking around and we had to herd these guys in. They were wondering where to go and uh, said, well, come on in, let's talk to people uh, streaming live, uh, millions of folks on the internet today. The Aeroshell team, or most of them, got Steve, Jimmy, Mark, uh, you guys, uh, are you ever going to find your way around? I mean, do you, I know you do an excellent air show routine. We, no need to talk about that. But mm -hmm. traveling, you get lost a lot. Yeah. No, we just, we, only when we see you coming. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, you know, these are just three of the four in the, in the four-man, uh, four uh, four-aircraft team. And I said, uh, well, where's the ugly one? I said, you mean Gene? I said, no, not Gene. Talking about Brian. Uh, Brian Regan's... Uh, the only one that's not here in front of us he's right still now. Still wandering, looking, trying to figure out where we're at. He's probably he's <laughs> on lost. the other side of the field looking for the airplanes. <laughs> but uh, Steve, you've been with the group for a long time. Yep. And I know Mark and uh, Alan. They uh, they pretty well put put them on the map. And uh, Gene's with them for a long time. And now Jimmy, you're the newbie. I'm you're the, the newbie. newbie. I'm, I'm the eight year newbie. <laughs> I yeah, said, no. Mark, Mark made a good comment the other day. He said, well, don't worry about it. He said, I was here 12 years, and they still call me the new guy. So I figured <laughs> I got another four years or whenever we get somebody else on the team. But, mm. you know, off and on for eight years, been flying. Well, years. Jimmy, actually, and what would I would like for him to say that he's their new young pilot. He's a young guy. Mm -hmm. so. <laughs> but I'm the old man now. No, no, no don't set that out. No. <laughs> No, but uh, Gene, he's still very much, he, he's kicking. Oh, and, yeah. Uh, Gene's still flying, you bet. Yeah, we yeah. Tyco this past weekend. Well, I still want to get a hold of his RV-8. He's got an RV-8 that, uh, I guess he still got it, doesn't he? Does. Yeah, he does. Yeah. Damn it. All right, one of these days, I'm going to get a hold of that RV-8. There you go. Because he's, he's got that thing tuned up just right. Uh, tell us a little bit. I know you guys are, you're making the, your claims to fame, really. I mean, it's always been making nice thunder at the airport and, putting out big plumes of smoke and listen to those prop tips bark uh, but your night air show routine you know if you keep that up you know one of these days you guys are gonna be pretty good there you go. uh, and uh, talk to us a little bit about the visibility as what yeah. are you doing different with the night air show well this year we have a new debut of some new lights that are gonna be awesome they are unbelievable they're called uh, arrow leads arrow leads and their LED lights that we have on the landing lights and the strobes and I mean they're just phenomenal phenomenal they're, they're twice as bright as the old lights and they burn 80 percent less power at my alternator the electrical system just just if you forget and leave them on it doesn't hurt anything oh, that's good for a change it's amazing right. exactly oh. they, these the, these new lights are amazing well now wait a minute if it's not pulling that much on the alternator that must mean you get a little bit more power out of the engine. Is that it's what it's been? At that, I'm wondering what that was. Now you get more power out of that little old, uh, old yeah. radio ticket yeah. away up yeah. there. Yeah, so, uh, but we're going to fly the night show Saturday night. Okay. It's coming Saturday, and uh, we're flying today. Today's Thursday. We fly at 4 o'clock. Day show. So it's uh, toward the end of, end of the, I mean, this you're going to be the uh, the headliner is, is the starting to wrap it up. That's it. Because uh, they save the best for last. Is what there you do. go. But... Uh, and I know Gene's doing well. Uh, I always uh, enjoy dropping in on uh, him, and, uh, Iris, uh, and uh, seeing seeing them at Reno is is always a. a th Do you guys go to Reno? Never have. No, I never, I never been. Really? Never have been. Well, someday uh, you might get an invitation. Yeah. We we usually are doing air show. shows you, during that time period. Like yeah. Well, that's kind of makes. Gene sense. goes out there, and then we usually have an air show somewhere else. It's very rare that we don't. Mm. Very rare. Interesting. Uh, we got 24 shows this year. We flew 24 last year, and I said, okay, my wife wasn't real happy about that. I said, well, let's don't quite do that many. <laughs> well, here we are. We're 24 again. Well, who, so, who's flying lead then? Mark. Mark. I fly Mark. Lead. Okay, lead. Yep. Well, that's, you know, I was talking to Brian when he first joined you guys uh, back many years ago. 
I'll never forget. This is a funny story. Now I'll let you go. Uh, uh, he was learning the routine, and uh, in you know, there's a certain amount of memorization that you have to go. Right. And uh, you you probably remember this better than I do. You could probably tell. I was about eight feet away from it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but this is the one where uh, he he went left and everybody else went right, and yeah. you had to get on the radio and said, "Hey, Brian." Where are you going? Where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> and he looked around and said, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was Jimmy. No, I was Brian on that one. I've done my share, but I didn't do it. time. Wasn't it? Yeah, time. Exactly. <laughs> I'm not going to say that Jimmy didn't do it, too. <laughs> Pay attention, but, Snappy. But, that, yeah. uh, but, you know, it's a classic because you guys uh, are the consummate. You're pros. You're pros at this. You practice. You practice. Well, then, yeah, I tell you, your routine does not just happen by accident. It's uh, it well, happens by practice. Oh and, yeah, uh, we do plenty of that. Some people uh, when they get out and they're they're, they're practicing and they they, they do, uh, it's it's just completely accidental that they don't have an accident. Mm. Uh, you well, guys, don't do that. I have a golden rule for anybody that tries to do this. Number one, find a mentor. Number two is never lose sight, never lose sight, never lose sight, never lose sight. Yeah. Usually most accidents are someone adjusting a radio or put their head down in the cockpit when they're 10, mm -hmm. 15 feet off somebody's wing, or they're doing a maneuver where they assume somebody's gonna be in a certain mm -hmm. position or they expect them to be there. Mm -hmm. Never do that. All of our maneuvers, we never lose sight. The only time we ever don't maintain sight is when we do breakaway maneuvers mm -hmm. when we when we break away well that's completely different well, but, but don't you, ever do a maneuver and assume when you roll upright that he's going to be over here because that's 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 the ones i don't like well, i usually point them out if i see somebody doing it well as you know uh i uh, investigation is kind of a background and every time that i have had the opportunity to investigate a either a near miss or a, a near catastrophe uh, every time every time it always comes that well I only lost that, sight for a couple that's seconds like, that's, that's too long that's, it takes. that's too long don't and ever lose sight no, never ever no, no, no. ever never ever ever and, and it's an easy rule to maintain yeah, it really is and if, uh, if you're doing a routine to where you're losing sight and expect don't don't do it just don't just change don't it get this just, just just get rid don't, of it. Don't build it into your routine. Don't build it into your routine. And, and again, uh, what Steve is saying here is, is exactly right because there's other folks that, that could have good formation flying skills. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. And, and we encourage you to develop your good formation mm -hmm. flying skills. Uh, but do it the right way. Get with a mentor. Get with, that's right. Get with an old bull if you're a young bull. Yeah. Not, not that you're old bulls. Mm -hmm. uh, well, you hey, know, you know, they always say that, that wisdom is learned from somebody else's mistakes. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's what a mentor is all about. Yeah. That way you can hopefully pick up on something somebody else has mm -hmm. paid the price for. Well, and you guys have no, well, maybe you do have an idea of the positive impact that you have on the industry. And, uh, and again, we're talking about getting whippersnappers in here, kids. Mm -hmm. And for them to see the way that you do it and the manner in what you do it, I just wish that they could learn more about the background, the, the backstage of mm -hmm. how you do what you do. Follow your dreams and don't let anybody tell you you can't do something. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, I, I, sometimes I see people discouraging somebody and I just don't understand that at all. Yeah. No. I do not understand it. Are they trying to down them, or well, I don't really, or trying to make themselves look better? I, I really haven't figured that out. But I always tell young kids, <clears throat> don't tell, don't, don't say you can't do something. It might take you a little longer than somebody else, sure. but you'll eventually get there. And uh, the people that say they can't afford to, to do it, <laughs> uh, that you got to invest the time. My With mom and time, dad got married. My my dad. Uh, went and bought an airplane before she got to buy a washing machine and a dryer. You have to have your priorities. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and just to show a little bit of background, Amanda, where are you from? You from uh, you from Wyoming? North, uh, <laughs> northeast Louisiana, a small town called Tallulah, Louisiana. I know it well. Yeah. Jimmy. Monroe, Louisiana. I'm about 40 miles to the west of him. All right. So and I'm Mark. a new resident of uh, Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Okay, so uh, there's a common thread here because mom and dad uh, came from Missouri and my mom was born in Enterprise 
uh, and uh, the spaceship. <laughs> when I was younger, I thought okay, she came from the spaceship. But this okay, but <laughs> the uh, but no, the uh, not that I'm a southerner, uh, but people say, well, where'd you get your accent? I said, well, I learned to speak proper English in Winston Salem, North Carolina. There and, you go. Uh, but usually I ham it up with North Carolina. There you North go. Carolina. We always tell them from where we come from, we don't have an accent. It must be you. <laughs> <laughs> we know proper English in the yeah. South. Exactly. Uh, but guys, uh -huh. the uh, and I know you're going to be practicing. You're going to be flying at four. Uh, we ordered you some good clear weather. Uh, the day before yeah, yesterday it was that. a little bit damp. It was. Uh, and uh, and I think the show uh, Saturday. Let's see, Jack, I think you ordered the weather for Saturday, didn't you? Okay, it, it, we're, we're good for Saturday. Aren't we? Good. We're all covered. But uh, but what we're going to do is let you guys get back to what you do best, and that's uh, plan. And, uh, it, you know, I never see you guys sweat. Never. <laughs> Unless it's at I ICAS, and we've been at the watering hole too long. And then I say, oh, what time do we have to get up in the morning? <laughs> and that's usually the only time I see you guys sweat. Yeah. <laughs> I did at my wedding. Oh, that, we, we won't let that get out. Uh, Mama, Mama might be hearing this. No, nah, uh, she's awesome. Been married 33 years. She is. And, uh, and, yeah, and, she's great. Uh, she's beautiful inside now. Yes, she is. I know that woman. And uh, I will have Melody out here because she, 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 I don't know why she likes to hug this guy so much. <laughs> so, I have that charisma, Ben. It is. It Just is. that charisma. It is. <laughs> but uh, we're going to let these guys get back to, uh, again, what they do so well. And uh, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, Thanks Mark for having us. Thank we appreciate Thank you, it. Ben. Steve, it's a, let me do that again. It's like shaking a 10-pound ham right there. <laughs> <laughs> Good <laughs> Okay, we're going to line it up uh, for another interview and let these guys get back to work. Uh, they don't make money sitting here jawing. Well, I guess you do. Cause we got to <laughs> now, let's go have some fun with that aviation. And I'm Ben Coleman, one of your hosts. We'll talk to you next interview. Thank you.